Hi everyone, it's Marie and today we're going to use W Plus 9 Design Studio stamp set called Flora and Fauna 2. We're going to color up this butterfly and get a little bit inky with a little Copic and some Distress Ink. We stamped this on a very smooth Express It with our Memento dye ink. And now it's going to be time to put a little pop of color on our little butterfly. Just a very little amount on this one little section of each wing. We're using a YR01 just to apply a base coat. And we're going to put in a shadow with my YR04. Just in that area closest to the body because that area usually is in more shadow and it will give that wing that arched look. Blending out with our mid-tone YR02 and then flicking toward the highlight with our YR01. Now I'd like to pop this up a little bit darker by increasing my intensity of my shadow YR14 and then put that shadow YR04 right on top of the 1-4 just to add a little bit more depth. Blend out with my mid-tone and then my highlight. I think it gives a little bit more intensity there. And it's time to put in a little body with my C7. And now it's time to do a little fu fussy cutting here. Um, I want to mention that this set also has a wonderful coordinating die set to match, which would make this step a lot simpler and you could eliminate this part. Uh, one thing, if you do not have the die set and you're cutting, uh, one tip is to turn your paper rather than your scissors. Now we're going to do some sponging with some squeezed lemon, Tim Holtz Distress Ink, and this is um, a very, very light color and it's always usually best to start with your very light color and then blend out. So from the body we'll have a little more shadow so I'm beginning to uh, sponge toward the center. I want my lightest in the center because again I want dimension on this little butterfly. And now I'm sponging the outer edges all with the squeezed lemon. Now we're going to use fossilized amber. This is a darker color, a richer color. It will allow the uh, wings to pop a little bit more. Isn't that a beautiful color combo together? Both of those Distress ink pads work so well. and some in the center and again just flicking toward the highlight. Really enjoying um, distressing slightly. Now I want a little bit more of a, a defined edge so I'm putting some vintage photo, a darker brown on the very edges. Just a light flicking motion. And you really don't need a lot with that, just a little bit. Now I misted the back of my butterfly just ever so lightly. And then I'm taking a molding tool, anything with a nice big rounded um, ball on the end will work. Heartfelt Creations has some, McGill has some. And I have them and I like them both equally. And then we'll t turn it over and just a little bit on the very center and see how that will allow it to curl. We'll let that dry. Now I'm using some beading wire, very soft, just to make some antenna or antennae for my little butterfly. It's easy to, um, to shape. And the E 
6000 works really great on any kind of metal or metallic uh, for the adhesive. Again, setting that aside to dry. And then I'm going to apply some Wink of Stella. I love the clear. And when you start, just take that center black piece band off and discard it. And you're ready uh, to start using your Wink of Stella. We're going to add some pearls to the very inside to make the body kind of pretty. You can use um, rhinestones if you prefer. Just self-adhesive pearls and they just um, apply so nicely. And there you have one of your dimensional butterflies. I want to put a little bit more embellishment I think on the very edges. So uh, I'm going to use a little bit of the liquid pearls and just put some little dots there to just give it a little bit more embellishment. I think the dots will kind of coordinate with the dots on the body from the pearl. Tapping the bottom will help it form its little ball shape if any of them were flat. Okay, there you have that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mold some flowers and create my card for you. Hope you like it and give it a try. It's a lot of fun.